Good evening. I want to talk to you guys tonight about Sasquatch and their night vision abilities and also some of their regular vision abilities as well. Uh, I think it's absolutely fascinating the way these creatures are portrayed, the way people talk about them, how elusive they are, and how smart they are. And I think when you put a lot of cleverness, smart, natural cunning, and intelligence and combine that with a, a very impressive physical stature, incredibly strong, incredibly fast, but also pair that with incredible hearing and um, absolutely amazing vision that these things seem to have. Now, this isn't based on scientific fact. We don't have a dead Bigfoot. I don't have one, and I don't have a eye doctor, ophthalmologist, whatever you call them, dissecting one of the eyes and looking at it through microscopes to tell what these things have, how many rods and cones, how reflective their retinas are, how thick their lenses are, what the, the, the total size of it, how big their optic nerve are, the range of light. We don't know this. And so a lot of this can just be based off of speculation, but speculation in the sense of lots of people, lots of Bigfoot researchers have observed these creatures and had encounters with these things at night. In fact, nighttime seems to be their big time for observing us, for them coming close to us. They seem to be largely nocturnal, which would lead you to believe that they have pretty good night vision. Now, the other thing that's fairly obvious here is because we don't know exactly what Bigfoot is. They seem to generally be very ape-like in description, a lot like mountain gorillas, but walk upright like humans. And some of them look more chimpanzees and they make a lot of primate type noises and have a lot of skin tones compared to a lot of different uh, primates and have a lot of primate behavior out there. So we don't know exactly what they are, but it would be safe to say that there's some kind of hominid species, some kind of an ape species. And uh, it's just very fascinating because the great ape species generally don't have that great a night vision or true night vision like cats and some other things have. Uh, that is to be said, we're mostly diurnal. Now, there are some smaller monkey species, not primates, um, and some other things out there that are nocturnal and have very good night vision and have very big eyes. And when you look at primates and compare them to, say, like a cat species, uh, you know, it's not even close. Cats have a very, very good night vision. They're just a great example of many species that do. That's why when you shine a flashlight on cats or you try to take a picture of them in low light and your flash comes off, they get that kind of possessed glowing eye look. What that is is the eye reflecting, refracting off the lenses in their eyes and bouncing back and forth inside their eye, um, kind of like if you turn the exposure up on a camera lens. So what this really does is it helps them see at night. It gathers more of the natural light and helps them to see. So this kind of also pertains to a little bit to when we're talking about natural light, especially at night, while we're talking about the moon. During the day, it's the sun. The sun's pretty consistent, although through the seasons it can be stronger. But the moon goes in phases. And if you've ever been out at night, and I don't mean in the city, but I mean even fairly country or fairly remote, and you've been out and the moon is high in the sky and it is a bright full moon, you can see everything. You don't even need a flashlight, especially after 20, 30 minutes, a half hour, when even our human poor night vision has kind of come up to speed and our eyes have dilated and we've really gotten used to it. You can see stuff on the ground. You can walk around um, pretty good with just a moon if it's bright and it's not behind trees or clouds or anything. Now, when it comes to Sasquatch, a lot of times eye shine is reported. I've seen eye shine in the woods before in certain situations that were seven or eight feet off the ground. It's very common to be reported with Bigfoot. These things are very naturally active at night. That's when a lot of people hear howls and knocks and have rocks thrown at them, um, either dusk or um, getting dark or, or in the middle of the night. I think these things see incredibly well at night. And not all of the time, but I think a good portion of the time when people report glowing eyes, um, especially if they're at a window or something, it's probably light from inside the house and they have such good, efficient night vision the eye, that the light is just refracting back. And depending on the tint of the, of the light that's hitting them and the spectrum of it, especially with LEDs and have a little more bluer light in the modern flashlights or compared to campfires, 
you can have different variants of what type of light you're seeing glowing back in their eyes, which can be very disturbing, kind of an evil look, but it can really be more natural. Now, there are reported reports where people in the pitch black see their eyes glowing red, and uh, this might be, this is something else that's completely different. Uh, so when people say it, it had glowing red eyes, it's like, well, was it at night? Uh, did it flash red? Were they like, was it completely black? Were you not shining anything on it? Was there, was there no other light source? Um, so like I said, people do report glowing red eyes to different effects. Some people say no, they were naturally growing. And other ones think it could be eye shine as well. Uh, and if they have very efficient night vision, that would be a good reason of why you're seeing that. And also, there's a lot of debate out there, you know, um, is evolution a real thing? Were these things designed or created when it comes to Sasquatch? Some of the more out there theories. Um, I don't think it really matters as much as the fact that, yes, they do have good night vision, that they can see really well in the dark. And reports of these things running through the bushes, you know, 20, 30, 40 miles an hour, full bore, right through the bushes, right through the woods, and you just barely, you know, they can barely hear a sound. And uh, I think it's also something else to consider is that as humans, we have very poor night vision, so we tend to, especially at night, being diurnal, gravitate towards campfires or, or flashlights or lanterns. So this is going to be perfect opportunity for something standing in the shadows that has great night vision is that they're going to have a lot, they're going to have an extra boosted light source that's lighting up what they want to see, especially if you're inside a house that's well lit at night and they're in the darkness. Um, but it's, you know, going to be extra hard on the humans because our night vision is adapted because we have an artificial light source. So when we do look out in the darkness, we hear even less. And if it is making a sound crunching around, it's even that much more mysterious. So we're just really, as humans, behind the curve compared to these creatures. So a lot of Bigfoot researchers do employ night vision, night vision goggles or monoculars or scopes. There's different types of them. And what they do is they take the ambient light, even if it's really dark to you, there's still some light there typically and it'll amplify that light like two or three thousand times and produce an image that you can see pretty well at night now there's also infrared which is it's basically taking the heat spectrum off of things as everything has heat as a temperature and it's basically reading the temperatures across across what it's seeing and projecting that onto a screen but we're mostly just talking about light amplification light gathering type stuff like here you see the military is a big purveyor of night vision especially while you're fighting, um, you know, insurgents and people who aren't as well as equipped as the U.S. military, and we have real high-grade infrared um, and real high-grade night vision. But the thing is, with night vision, it's amplifying the light. Now, a lot of times on weapon systems or night vision scopes themselves, or even on the side of some goggles and some handheld monoculars, they have a IR flashlight. It's like a regular flashlight, but the human naked eye can't see it. It puts out a spectrum of light that isn't visible to your eye, but you can see it through the light amplification. Well, guess what? Deer and other creatures that supposedly can't see this infrared spectrum see it all the time. And it's been well documented and reported that even on trail cameras that put out um, this infrared spectrum of light and the deer are looking right at it, like they see the light. They have better night vision than we do, although they probably don't see color as well as we do. And... Uh, this is a pretty interesting comparison. It's a green phosphor, which is the green classic night vision, and a white phosphor, which you're starting to see more people. Now, if humans use a typical green night vision on the right, the left is probably more like what a Sasquatch sees. Black and white, more detail, amplified. Um, and it's also very interesting that if you're going to try to, the number one advice I can give to anybody who's going to try to observe a Sasquatch at night with night vision is... Don't use an IR illuminator, which was that flashlight I was talking about that works in the IR spectrum. Just because you can't see it, a lot of reports the Bigfoots are. I've heard a lot of encounters and a lot of reports from, um, you know, researchers that are really into this to casually other people, to people who are just out in the woods with IR and saw Bigfoot, that the second you flip on that illuminator to try to boost a little more light, they see it. They know it. They're also very sensitive to green lasers and green lights, which that has to do... <clears throat> which that has to do with the color spectrum. So it's very fascinating to me that using passive infrared technology, passive light, 
where you're just taking the ambient light, especially on a moon night where you get a lot more moonlight, and uh, you, you can see these creatures quite well. Um, but it seems to me that it's very hard for us, even with our top technology, <clears throat> with our with our top technology battery powered all this different type of stuff we still have a very hard time reaching the level of these creatures so i know we talked about a lot here but in in conclusion i just wanted to say sasquatch these creatures bigfoot they have excellent night vision it's probably up there with some of the best night vision that we have as humans with our technology but instead of looking through a small tube or two little tubes it's complete, you know, natural vision, natural spec, and I think just being masters of the environment, knowing their environment really well on top of that is what makes these creatures just so astounding at night. They can move through it, they can run through it, they can hunt through it. Um, like I said, if you put them in a completely pitch black room, they would be just as blind as anybody else because it just makes sense that they amplify the usable light. Um, but yeah, just a little advice out there. These things can see well. And I also thought it's very fascinating. A lot of people describe when they do see them through night vision, they uh, describe them as still hiding, which I found very fascinating that they look through them through a night vision and they can see a Bigfoot still hiding behind a tree. Pitch black. And that's the other thing is they assume that we can see as well as them. It was, was, was a lot of what's inferred and from what people have seen at night. Or it's pitch black out, but they're still hiding, you know, in tall grass or bushes or behind a tree. There's still always something between them. So maybe that's to our advantage. I don't know. They think that we can see as well as they can. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video for you guys tonight about this. It's something that's always fascinated me. Um, so if you like this, please give me the thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Thank you very much and stay safe in the woods.